Hello and welcome to the Team Group. Today's video will be a recreation of the uh, Skylab space station. Skylab was the United States first space station launched on May 13, 1973. The space station was intended to uh, use uh, extra hardware for the Apollo program that wasn't used due to the uh, due to the three last Apollo missions being cancelled. You can see, yeah, we're launching the uh, Saturn V. I mean, this isn't a normal Saturn V because the, the Skylab, uh, well, the majority of it, was made from a, uh, from a Saturn V third stage. <laughs> and so when launched, the Saturn V, like, it couldn't have two third stages on it, so it was more like so that it could get into orbit using only its first and second stage. And well, mine, we're having some troubles on ascent with spinning out of control. And the real Skylab did have problems on ascent with the uh, station getting damaged and one of the solar panels not being able to deploy properly and the other getting damaged so it can deploy fully. But I, I didn't recreate that. My uh, station is fully functional. Anyways, so now we're in, we're inserting into orbit. We've deployed the ferry, and th what, for deploying the uh, solar panels and a uh, telescope mount, which I'm, I know it's clipping into the uh, rest of the station, but I can't find another way to fit in. It was supposed to be all nice and automatic, except the hinges were locked. So yeah, but no. Yeah. So all right. This the two minutes into the video, space station is deployed, video done, except no, because I, well first we need to take some time to admire the space station. I spent a few hours working on this thing. And now we need to launch some crew up. <laughs> so here we have a second which I, I was running out of time of trying to make this thing, so um yeah, I, it's not my best, and um, I had to replace the uh, second stage J2 with a more powerful engine because um, otherwise it wouldn't work and also it's extremely unstable. But I was limited in time. So yeah, we've already deployed launch escape system and first stage, burning into orbit. Loving our own for insertion. Now, with the launch of the uh, space station, I try to get into an equatorial orbit, but I found it. Uh, so I didn't get that exact where I thought I could correct for that. Well, this, because of how talented the Saturn 1 beam was, um, we're, our inclination is all wrong. So we're gonna need, we're gonna need to do some, some uh, inclination adjustments, which. Well, we have more than enough Delta V. I mean, like, there were so many re-attempts at this, like, I don't even know what, like, what attempt this was, but it took me at least five. You got right. Yes. Like, sometimes this, I, this, well, I mean, first, that second stage didn't have enough thrust away for it, and we'd fall back into the atmosphere. Sometimes the command and service module randomly couldn't use its fuel. All sorts of problems happened. But this was the one that worked. So we're adjusting our inclination. And setting up our encounter maneuver. Yeah, I know that in real life, the, um, the second stage would only be, like, that would only get the uh, spacecraft into orbit in the uh, command and service module. I have to do the rest, but I had, I had Delta V left over, I wanted to use it, I was worried about the command and service module, this, this, like, breaking on me again, and this, yeah. And also, I transferred the fuel over, because I could. It, it would gain me some Delta V. And also, I need as much fuel as possible because, listen, it's powered by uh, fuel cells. 
that because yeah, there's no solar panels. So the same with the in space, we will go through our fuel. Nice. So now first encounter. I couldn't do too much burning, otherwise I would enter the atmosphere. But now we have a really close encounter. And so yeah, now we can slow down. Also, oh, I had forgotten to deploy the antennas. Or, well, just communication equipment. And so we're now burning towards the target. Doing kind of the land- Actually, yeah, this is the land lazy method of docking. Which, um, yeah, yeah I, I have to pay, like, uh, for a video, I need to pay 100 funds to use it, so... Well, uh, I need to, like, figure out, like, some way of getting rev revenue from this channel soon, because, yeah, I need to pay royalties for using this method. Nice. So, yeah, we're about to dock. And docked. Our crew can transfer over. And now, so since I use robot components and control system robotics are notorious for getting attacked by Kraken, I thought I would bring some struts along with me and then I would have an engineer attached to struts to the robotic components. But where did the struts vanish? They were in the they were in the uh, in the cargo storage in the vehicle assembly building, and in flight they weren't. So yeah, all that's done. Because I want to say, I probably could have done better on the Apollo uh, telescope mount. The Apollo telescope mount. Because yeah, the top part, yeah, it's supposed to be circular. It just, it couldn't find a part that really like, looked correct. Well, this video was definitely inspired by Andrew the Astronaut's video. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. And I'm not, not trying to brag, but I feel mine, like, it, I feel I added some more detail. Like, mine had more details than his. It, that, that's definitely bragging. I have no idea what I'm on about, about not trying to brag. But, moving on. Yeah, we've undocked. And, yeah, this... The orbiting. Uh, and before we enter, I decided to um, orientate so that the uh, so the service module wasn't directly, but like in our path during reentry. And so I'm trying to recreate a shot I got in my last video uh, of during reentry, except this command pod doesn't have as convenient of a view. Yeah, yeah, we can see the uh, flames of re-entry. Yeah, so this video is sped up times four, and I've also had uh, times four physical time war. So yeah, this video is going really fast, so I'm, I'm having a bit of trouble uh, keeping up with it. But our parachutes are applying, and pretty soon we'll smash down. Any moment now. There, splash down. Well, as I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, and yeah, goodbye.